Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. I'm here in the new shop in Atlanta and I've been doing some work. I've got a brand new beautiful assembly table. I built some hanging cabinets to organize certain parts of the shop. Built a rolling cabinet to put a small bandsaw on and yet there's still some more work I want to do. Right behind me you'll see I've got these empty walls of white painted drywall and there's been a plan all along to fill those up. So let's get started. So here at the table saw, you see me cutting some three quarter inch plywood at 45 degrees to create the parts I need for my French cleats. So I'm gonna start here in this small machine room where I have the longest run possible for all of my French cleats. So with my stud finder and a pencil, I'm gonna mark out all of these studs. Then I'm gonna bring the longest run I have for my French cleats up to this and mark out those stud locations on that piece of plywood. And then I continue to mark out my studs and transfer those marks to my pieces of plywood along the rest of the wall. I then use my square and strike a line across the entire height of the French cleat where I made my marks. And then I mark center where the end of the straight part of the piece is before the 45 degree angle begins. And then of a Forstner bit that's large enough in diameter for my socket, I drill holes to countersink my screw below the surface of the plywood. And then I come back with a drill bit to drill a pilot hole using the indent from the Forstner bit to center it. And on one of my French cleats, I marked where I wanted to cut it the length because it was just a little bit too long. And I cross cut that at the table saw. And then using the same drill bit I used at the drill press, I bring my French cleat up to the wall and drill my first pilot hole in and then put my first screw in and then of my level I level the rest of the piece and then drill and screw in the rest of the French cleat. And then the other strips I haven't used yet I marked off parts four inches long along the entire length and then cross cut all those pieces at the table saw. And then on all those pieces with my square, I marked out the center from the bottom before the 45 degree and then eyeballed the center horizontally on the piece. And then over the drill press, I drill a hole into every single one of those pieces all the way through with a Forstner bit that matches the diameter of my dowel stock. And then at the band saw, I cut my dowel stock and put a little dab of glue into the hole for each one of these. Grab my dowel and put it in. And with the other half of the French cleats glued up, I then started putting templates on the wall. So between this wall behind me and the other walls, I've got templates for every single project I've built for the school. And it's beautiful wall art for the shop. Don't you agree? So I'm really happy about this and this is a great way to put all those templates up that are in your shop as well. So I hope you guys like this video. I'm loving how the shop is looking and um, that's pretty much it. So as always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share the timeline, and head over to the MM Wood Studio page and like us there as well. And as always, have a great week in your shop.